by their uh, so um, coordinator for Iron Reeds here in Limerick asked the library staff to do something about their favourite book or favourite author. I couldn't put my hand on my favourite book, uh, which is I always kind of go for the Grapes of Wrath. I think that's the book that had the most impact on me in my reading life. But it's not around at the moment, so I can't display it. And uh, so I'm gone for my favourite author, which, uh, to be perfectly honest, is uh, Stephen King. I've been reading him since I was 13 years of age. And kind of lost, uh, lost him somewhere along the way in the 90s, I think, because uh, his, the quality of his work definitely dipped around that period. But he's really come back in recent years, and he's, he's, he's published a string of really fine novels over the last 10 years or more. And the uh, funny thing was, um, this is uh, one of the books in the sequence of The Dark Tower. It's displaying mirror form on my screen now, so sorry about that if that's the way, <laughs> if that's the way it comes up. Uh, song, this is Song of Susanna, which is the fourth, I think, book in the series The Dark Tower, which I never read. I always kind of thought, I had this uh, idea that King had just dashed these books off in between his proper books. But I picked up The Gunslinger, which is book one, uh, last summer, during the summer, and I read it, and I was very taken with it. The atmosphere of it, I thought, was amazing. So I, I proceeded on through the whole series, and I have to say, I'm not a fantasy fan at all, but that is a great series, an amazing series. And the ending of it is just incredible. You finish the last book in the series, and the first thing you want to do is pick up book one again, honestly. And it's amazing. So anyway, the Dark Tower series is fantastic. I read The Shining when I was about 13. I think that was the first Stephen King book I read. 13 is too young to read The Shining. <laughs> it, is a, it is a very scary book. Then The Stand. The Stand is incredible. It's about a, uh, an apocalyptic plague that hits mankind. Uh, very current. But, but uh, amazing, you know, it's the battle of good and evil and so forth. Really fantastic stuff. But King is amazing. Critics, you know, I think critics have kind of come around to, to agreeing that King is an excellent writer. And, um, you know, the best they could do at one point was to say, oh, he's like the Dickens of our time. But the, the, I think generally now he's, uh, he's accepted as being a quality writer as well as a great storyteller. So you could do worse. Um, a lot of his books are just really good books. He's, you know, he's known as a horror writer. Uh, I think... You know, and that is true in some of his career, some of his writing. Like you don't want to read it if you're if you scare easily, that's for sure. But some great stuff. Misery is amazing. Anyway, I shouldn't extend it too long. It's gone over the three minutes. So you know, check out Stephen King if you if you've been reluctant to. I know some people you know are a bit reluctant to. Check out Misery or one of those uh, books. They're absolutely fantastic. Great writer. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.